The heart of American capitalism is a simple idea, open and fair competition. That means that if your companies want to win your business, they have to go out and they have to up their game. Better prices and services, new ideas and products. That competition keeps the economy moving and keeps it growing. My executive order includes 72 specific actions. I expect the federal agencies, and they know this, <laughs> to help restore competition so that we have lower prices, higher wages, more money, more options, and more convenience for the American people. All told, between rising prices and lowering wages, lack of competition costs the median American household $5,000 a year. Now look, <clears throat> I'm a proud capitalist. I spent most of my career representing the corporate state of Delaware. I know America can't succeed unless American business succeeds. But let me be very clear. Capitalism without competition isn't capitalism. It's exploitation. Without healthy competition, big players can change and charge whatever they want and treat you however they want. And for too many Americans, that means accepting a bad deal for things that can't go, you can't go without. 